Simone Cherie's hair. So today in this video, wait, 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 before we even go further, before you leave this channel, please subscribe, like this video, thumbs up if you want more hair tutorials. So today we are doing a video with wig encounters. I've seen a lot of people been posting them and saying that they had great experiences with them. So I was like, you know what? I wanna go ahead and work with them. <laughs> before we even get into this video, this might be, I don't know, if I've ever tried an invisible HD skin melt Swiss lace, okay? I know you guys always ask me, so I'm saying it now in the video verbally. Now, if you're wondering what the hell is the point, are these just marketing terms? Are these just marketing tactics? What is the point of it being called the invisible Swiss lace? So the name of it pretty much is what it is. So long story short, it's supposed to be one of the best laces out there, okay? It's supposed to be so transparent, it's supposed to be soft, very lightweight, and it's supposed to be very unnoticeable, okay? So right now, this is what everyone is using, this is what everybody wants to use, and what everyone is so interested in. So I was like, you know what? I wanna go ahead and try it. The whole idea is this lace is supposed to melt into your skin, okay? Now, I'm curious to know if it will melt in my skin without me having to do use any gel or glue, because lately, I haven't been using it. So we're gonna go ahead and test that out. I'm gonna go ahead and open and do it an unboxing for you guys. So I have a wig here, a little bag, wig cap, and a comb. They included a headband into the wig, okay? So if you look inside, all you have to do is just connect it to the bra strappy type of things. <laughs> so the lace in the back, I always urge you to cut that off because it will be scratchy on the back of your neck. Okay, so the first thing I notice when I open, when I look at this wig is the hair is super, super, super soft, super silky feeling. It feels really good. I hate the ends actually. I don't like the ends at all. I feel like it's just so choppy looking. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and pluck this off of camera. We got it to be nice and flat before it was so thick um, at the top but I like how the hair feels it kind of actually feels like real hair this layer right here was pre-plucked and these are bleached but it just looks like it's not in some parts like the bleach didn't take to all the knots fully so that's important to know I want to also point out to you guys that this section right here the crown this the crown the top of the head is six inch in parting okay so this part right here you can part all the way back from here and then this section you can only part it's really short you can only part this much okay and most of the lace frontal wigs are being made nowadays so i just want to make that clear to you guys in case I would like to turn them again. No, you look crazy. <laughs> oh, wow. Go ahead and cut the lace off. We're going to cut the areas by the ears first. I have so many detailed videos on how I cut the lace. So be sure to watch that. Get your hot comb. Make sure you blow it off. This right here will burn skin. So make sure you have it cooled off. I'm going to just put it back. I, I don't want my forehead to be small. And we're just going to go ahead and just comb this back. Start parting it because I kind of think I know what style I'm gonna go to. So now I'm gonna be taking my one inch, I think it's a one inch <laughs> curling wand from um, the Hamid collection on Amazon. Amazing curling wands, by the way. I always rave and brag about it. Love it. First of all, this hair looks really natural up close. I'm actually really in love with how it's just falling and sitting on my head. In love with this part of the lace, though. That is doing wonders. <laughs> so I'm going to actually go ahead and just do some big, nice, loose curls in this hair. Um, I'm going to go backward, forward, backward, forward. Kind of just mixing it all up in case you guys are wondering. And I'm not going to curl the end of the um, curl. So 
this side I'm gonna flip it back and we're gonna leave out the ends again not really going up to the root if you're taking note of that now we're gonna go ahead and cut the lace I really don't know where I'm going with these wigs. I don't have anything planned. I don't have any hairstyle plan. But sometimes it's just as you just sit here and play with it, you just figure it out as you go along. But I think it's really cute. It has like a really natural look. So to get this little hump that everyone be doing, you can either use a hot comb and comb it up, um, just right here to get some volume. You can use, I just use dry shampoo for some volume over here. Or you can just get your regular Degla hairspray and just kind of spray right here for a little bit. And then I like to just hold it, give it a nice little pinch. We want to let that air dry on its own. Actually, what I want to do though, is I do want to trim this up a little bit just to give it a little bit more body. I'm not really feeling the way this is. So I'm just going to go ahead and just cut. Not trimming off too much, just enough to give me like a layer where it, it will sit on its own. I love this one actually, this is such a cute one. It's holding a curl pretty well, so that's important. Like I would never think this is a wig, like, well I would actually because it's not my hair. But um, <laughs> I wouldn't think it's like a, a bad wig. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and brighten my part, which I'm going to do. Get a flat brush. I always tell people to use a yellow base foundation for your part. Do not use a red base foundation because if you use if you use a red base foundation, it's going to just look weird red and orangey. Use MAC, sometimes I use L'Oreal, sometimes I use CoverGirl. Just depends on what I have right near me. And I'm just going to put a tad bit, and you don't want to put a lot. Don't douse your brush, just barely tip it and color that part in, baby girl. So this is the end result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It came out really good. I really like it. And I really wish I could bring all these wigs with me to New York, but I can't. So um, I gotta narrow these down. But I love it. I love how lightweight it is. I love how light it feels. Um, I do have a lot of hairspray in this, but it's still very soft. Um, and it's keeping its shape, keeping its it's curl. It's, this is a nice full 360 for you guys. It's nice and HD. I honestly, I like the HD, the whole HD thing. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. I think it looks really good, especially up close as I'm looking at it. But um, it looks pretty good to me. I'm highly impressed. I like it. I love this curl and this cut. To me, this is like, if I could wear this every day, I would. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Again, this wig is from Wig Encounters. I'll see you guys later.